Yo, what is up guys? So today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, color grade an Adobe uh, Premiere Pro CS6. Now this is very, very easy to do, but you'd be surprised some people uh, just completely skip over it. And I think it's very, very important to color grade, um, especially when you're doing videos, uh, you know, because if you shoot a video and it's not the optimal lighting, you can see here I have a clip from my previous um, video you can check that out in the description I'll probably put an annotation somewhere right on um, this video preview here so if you want to go check that out and you can see the final product there I don't I'm not sure if I color graded or not I forget but usually I will and you can see here the um, video is really yellowish and you get this if you use like tungsten white balance lights actually I don't really know if that's what they're called but I just read on the box called like soft white don't be fooled by the white they're actually yellow I don't know why they write that but they're yellow so if you want some really good lights uh, I just bought some lights that say like reveal on them and they're like oh this is less yellow than the regular soft white lights so that is what you want to get but unfortunately this is what I have to work with and it's pretty uh, yellow so we can fix it it's a pretty simple fix we can go over here to effects and down to color correction let me just show you where I was I was in video effects and color correction pretty simple to find and there are two main color correction settings that we can use we can use three-way color corrector or we can use fast color corrector now let me just go into three-way color corrector which is the more advanced of the two and essentially with three-way color corrector you will get three settings one for highlights one for midtones and one for shadows. So if you have a very complex shot, maybe of some landscape shooting, or I don't know, if you have a shot of the bay with the background with just the uh, the bay, not the stadium, then you would I would go with this because I can change each individual settings. Now for my case, it's mostly highlights uh, because this is a white background on a white stadium. These stadium shadows and things are going to be midtones. You can see there if I change midtones. These stadium shadows are probably going to be midtones. Highlights pretty much controls a lot except for the midtones and shadows controls almost nothing. And um, I don't really want to use this because since I'm only dealing with mainly highlights and mainly midtones, if I drop the highlights down and if I drop the midtones, I can sort of get that, but my midtones and my highlights are better off just in unison. And I'd rather go for the fast color corrector which brings up one big wheel and this controls the color correction for the entire um, shot here so obviously since this is yellow to begin with I want to add some blues and make it a bit more white so that right there looks a bit good to me and you can see the background is whiter than it was before let me just turn this uh, on or turn it off rather and then turn it back on you can see it definitely got a lot better and it looks a lot more white now in order to make this a bit more white we can uh, increase the brightness so that it is brighter you know, obviously some shadows will make it look a bit gray uh, or dull so we're going to add brightness and contrast and then bump up the brightness now this is just for my particular case and what I would do but each case is different and so I would have to adjust these settings uh, individually so with this the final product this is what we have here and um, I don't think I can play this through um, unrendered while recording but I'll try real quick I think it'll probably freeze up um, see so yeah, it's a bit choppy here and I can't even stop it because my oh there it goes uh, my computer isn't the greatest but it gets the work done especially when I'm not recording with Camtasia but anyway so just showing you uh, after and before or you know before and after so I think after looks a lot better uh, post processing and that is basically what I do to get my videos looking uh, a lot more uniform and a lot better than what I would you know start out with this which is pretty dull looking so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on color grading especially for white backgrounds if you just can't get that white uh, that right shot or that right color for your white background uh, so that's basically it hope you guys enjoyed and see ya bye